This is and this is Ninja Billy. And this is the Skylanders walkthrough, chapter three on the original Skylanders game. This is Sky Schooner Docks. Um, on this level, uh, you're trying to get the propeller for Flynn's balloon, and we'll show you the collectibles on here. So you start off on one of these rocks up here. Uh, smashing these items. Use the portal to get down on the other rock. You can see right where that. Yeah, that might happen when you go over to the portal. But that portal leads down here. There's a drow down here. Okay. Um, we're using lightning rod right now because we have to level him up. You can see he's pretty low level. Yeah, I don't like him very much. But my dad wanted to get him like nuts. So, all right, we're gonna come up here. It says you need a tech, so we're gonna use. Um, Boomer. And you can see there's a chompy pod up here. The chompies keep coming down. You have to come up here because you're gonna need a key to the gate. You can see the gate back there up in the right corner. You can see right there. You can either go around or just jump down the edge. Right, after you blow up these, collect any coins you want. If you need health, you probably don't at the beginning of the level. Chompies are pretty easy. You can just jump off that ledge right there. Um, makes things shorter. We were coming around here to try to get that gem. Didn't work. So we came all the way around. Uh, again, you can blow these up if you jump off the ledge. It's not necessary. Yeah, you're not going to miss anything. Alright, so you unlock the gate. It might glitch a little bit in our video. Alright, so you come down here, and um, you can see a lot of different ships flying in the background. Well, this is going to be the only time you're going to shoot at them. And you're going to have to do this part, because as we're showing you here, you can't blow up or get through this gate. The only way to do it is to shoot down the ships. So here you have to shoot down 15 of them. The jewels in the sky give you some extra points, but other than that, they don't really do anything. You want to shoot the Zeppelins because they will shoot cannons at you, and then you'll have to start all over. And the purple balloons are the ones that drop the points, those purple red gem things. Once you shoot them down, they crash into the gate. We skipped the cutscene, but they crash through the gate, opening up the way. For you to get and through again. A new enemy, a drill witch. It will shoot flying yellow displays at you. Okay. Uh, she'll keep shooting them. They're not too hard to defeat, but if you can, try to dodge the discs that they throw at you. Um, they're pretty. They're pretty easy to kill. But if you're using hex, you can. He flipped them back at them. If you if there's a certain upgrade, I think it's the soul jump upgrade for when you're using the skull rain thing. Uh, it it uh, blocks projectiles whenever something hits the skulls. Okay, and that's with hex. Yeah, that's with hex. You uh, see, we're right. gonna use chop chop here. Yep, here's our first undead gate in the game crosses the bones. Um, here you've got some spinning blades. It's easiest to go the direction they're spinning. Uh, we'll show you in a little bit when you go the opposite direction. Not there. Okay. When you go the opposite direction, it doesn't always work as well. You're going to use the launch pads to maneuver around. Uh, Skip the portal first, because you're just going to have to go back through this if you don't. You need a key up here first. You see, even if you land or just hit the bottom of a blade, you will uh, eventually get hurt still. Mm -hmm. Now that portal that she said to skip, you're going to want to go through that. Because yeah. there's a treasure chest there and a hat which you are using for the key. Alright, so we came back to the portal. And it's going to flash you over here. Yes. There's like I said, oh, there's a millet slice over there if you got hurt from those blades. 
Uh, yeah. The curve tries pops out. Lots of gold. You stuff. can take a lot of hits from the blades before you get too badly injured, but that will restore your health because you're about to go through some more blades here that are a little harder. Um, we're going to show you going through the wrong way. Um, uh, well, not the wrong way, but not the smart way. And it's still not going to yeah. damage your health. So we're going against the spinning of the blades instead of with it. And poor Chop Chop's not doing too well. But you can see it doesn't take away too much of your health. So well, that health. one is also, that spinning wheel is also faster. So if it gets too close to you, you might need to uh, get to the bounce pad really quick. And you can okay. and equip that hat yep. if you want. And then you can skip the blades, leaving all together because it, just um, you it right. takes you right back to the entrance. And there's nothing else that we're missing in there, so there's no point in going through the blades again. Yeah, because if you want to go through the blades, you can, but it's going to... It's pointless. Yeah, pointless. All right, so we're back to Boomer because we're in the tech area. When you are in an area where it says uh, Skylander of this is stronger here, you get more points for the coins, you get extra bonuses. So, so. they um. All right, this we're showing you after you shoot down eight airships. Now you're going to have to shoot down this heavy one. Um, don't worry about the smaller ones because the heavy one just bombards you with cannonballs over and over, uh, worse than the others. There we showed you the cutscene, how it smashes the gate. So once you knock down the big airship that time, it'll let you continue. Uh, the last airship you are going to... The feet has the golden propeller. Alright, here's a new enemy. This is a spell spunk. Um, it's a you want to kill that first if you are using a Skylander that throws projectiles. And here's the scroll it's for this a level. Air spell spunk puts a circle around the enemies that pr protects them from projectiles. You might want to kill the air spell spunk first because then. Uh, it's easier to kill the guys. Before you go through where the gate was, there's a treasure chest. Just be careful for those mind growing pop bomb things. We're coming back here just to make sure we didn't miss any coins or anything. You can see the treasure chest over there. Yep, in the top right. This is where I'm talking about the mind popping up things. They grow really fast. This treasure chest quite would be a pain. Because treasure chest money can fall off an edge. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we can go through the gate that opened up when we defeat the spell spunk and the dro. Here's and some more witches and some more dro. There's, there's a soul gem down here. It's at the back of the course. Here's their first earth gate. We're going to kill the spell spunk. We're using bash. Yay, leveled them up. Ooh, yay, leveled up. And she a level three. Yes. All right. Feeding all these enemies and defeating the dro. All right. The gate opens up, but don't go through it yet. We're gonna backtrack because here's your soul gem for the level. It is for Sonic Boom. Mm -hmm. Whenever the upgrade is resonant frequency, you mm -hmm. can premium. Yeah, and we hit B and want, got out of there. You can preview it later. We're going to come over here. Uh, the power is whenever you scream at your baby Sonic Boom guys, mm -hmm. um, they scream too. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're using Prison Break here. Uh, um, sorry about me saying Bash. I mm -hmm. it was bad. We're going to use a bunch of launch pads here. This level can get pretty annoying. Um, it's very easy to hit the rocks that are floating in the air and have to start all over again. But Sometimes once you get it, because see those it two will work islands, out fine. Uh, you might want to do some of those things on purpose because you fall off the edge and land on an island that probably has a hat or a treasure chest. Not yet. All right, so we just missed that rock there. Bounce over it here. It just all depends on luck of the timing. Okay, there we hit a rock and bounced back. Okay, bounce pad up here. Up 
here. Now, here's the top one. It could mm -hmm. get really annoying. Mm-hmm. All right, so there's the hat. We already have it equipped, actually. So it doesn't matter, yes or no. Okay, we're going to come over here. And here's where we're going to want to jump off the edge because otherwise you will miss the treasure chest. And you don't want to have to repeat the level all over but if you the miss that. Chest like nuts. Or by like, oh, the treasure chest, oh, the treasure chest. All right, so that portal just pops you over here. And then we're going to hop back up and to this spot. And take the portal. And there's here. nothing else that we missed, so we can leave this area. Uh, Alright, we are back to Lightning Rod because the Air Skylanders are stronger here. And. You might be thinking what level that he's at is 5 because it looks like a 5. Alright, so we're not sure why it was still there for a second. Here he goes. He is coming down here. You're going to meet up with Persephone, who is a fairy or pixie of some sort. Uh, she talks very weird, but we're going to skip the cut scene. Basically, um, we'll see her later when we want to do power upgrades. Uh, she'll be the one that we see you back at the Core of Light. You cannot do any upgrades unless, until you do the third level, which is the level we are doing right here. Mm -hmm. You'll need to do three levels to be able to do upgrades. Alright, here's now, a new enemy. That's Goliath Throw. Yeah, if he starts to charge and turn green, you don't want to stand in front of him when he's charging. Um, he does a lot of damage that way. If you can dodge him, that's best. Even to but the But he's not too hard. Giant. Because mm -hmm. he can kill like Bouncer or Swarm in like two seconds. I was I was doing a level cutthroat carnival and I was facing two last girl and I killed those two giants in like two seconds. Mm -hmm. And so here you face two witches. See there you see we lost quite a bit of health from his attack. Just two of them. Plus the discs that are being thrown. It's easier to deal with the witches first and then the Goliath. Before yeah. you go past into the next section, you need to backtrack. Because killing those two witches and the Goliath now lowered this drawbridge so you can get the legendary treasure for the level. Now you see it brings you nowhere with a choppy bond and a portal. Because it doesn't bring you directly to the uh, legendary treasure. But it brings you to the portal, which now flashes you over to the winged shoes. And that is your legendary treasure for Sky Schooner Docks. They are called Wild Runners. You can just jump off the edge and see. And now we can go back to oh. the last um, section where we will be shooting the final airship to get the propeller and um, then for Flynn's Balloon. And then we will finish the uh, thing. And see, sometimes your money will fall off the edge. It's fine because you get you get lots of chances to get lots of money because there's like twenty levels. And mm -hmm. Plus the adventure packs. They each come with your own level. All right. So we show you. We just knocked the giant airship down out of the sky. Same as the first two levels. Shoot the giant ship. I don't know why we cut that out, but for some reason we did. All right. Do not go into the circle, because you might want to collect the money first. Yeah. Whenever you go into the circle, it ends the level. So here we go, getting the last money that we can. And this is not the only uh, walkthrough we made. We made a chapter one. Alright, so here's the cutscene, and then you can see we completed all the collectibles for the level. Uh, check out Ninja Dill.